you guys doing? I am counting down. Next week, oh my goodness, on the 28th, I will be in the Gambia delivering all of these eyeglasses that we have collected. I'm so excited. I'm anxious. I'm nervous. This has been a overwhelming and tremendous um, experience as well as a wonderful opportunity. I have met some amazing people and I can tell you when it is your time to step out and do what you were called to do, all of those things that you need will come together and it will be effortless. So this uh, journey is not just for myself, it is for you, it is for my mother, my grandmother, all of those people who have gone before me and will go after me. So this is so exciting. I have some good things um, in net in the network that that's happening and we're ready to roll out those things. We are so excited that we've been invited as well as accepted um, in the Gambia. So we will be taking our seat at the table only because we've been invited to do so. And we're excited about all of the development developmental conversations we're going to be having all about um, unifying and coming together to create some continuity and some systems that are already in place and then determining um, the types of leverages that we could use to better utilize, you know, the space that we're going to be operating in. So it's a wonderful thing. We see it as a progression. We see it as um, changing. It's not a linear path. So we know that we'll have some challenges, but we've kind of went out and developed some project plans and implemented some strategies to have some workarounds um, for development. And it's just great. Um, I'm happy to be connecting with my brothers and sisters on the motherland. and They are coming strong we are coming strong. It's just a beautiful thing. I tell you, to see this thing unfold the way it's unfolding and to know that everything that I desire um, for this particular project has happened and more. So we're just very grateful and very honored to have the opportunity um, I cannot wait to be in the sun, having some fun, hanging out at Hyperlink Resort, visiting um, Harmony Resort, and all these other places that I want to ride and experience. I'm sure I will have the best guide ever. So I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully I'll be able to drop in on a school or two and visit some government facilities and maybe the new women's clinic or health clinic that they've recently built. So that's exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait to meet some of my beautiful sisters, to go to the Saracunda Market, to eat some Vinichan, like uh, my brother, uh, Federa, shared with me a few weeks ago, he and his wife. So it's going to be amazing. I'm going to eat, live, laugh, be merry, and also be about the business of um, African empowerment. I'm so excited. Um, if you don't know Usman Toure, he is a young man that I am watching and totally support those things that he are doing. Um, if you need more information, or I'm going to share a clip um, of him fairly soon, and I hope to see him when I get to the Gambia. But I think it's very important for us. I know it's important for us um, to put our money where our mouth is and to be able to 
back and support young people to help them reach their potential and their goals. Now, this young man, Usman Toure, he is one of the most intelligent and young Pan-Africanist that I have seen in a very, very long time. He brings um, unique knowledge, skills, abilities, and he is just branching off and being exposed to levels of um, African ideas um, that is beyond his years. And for that, I am grateful. He is lighting the way and showing others and teaching others as well this African concept of restructuring and building Africa. He is not anxious to leave home. He is anxious to grow and develop home. So that's that's a beautiful thing. So he's aware of who he is and and what's ahead of him and he's constantly working toward development and building himself up so that he can reach those goals. And when you see him and listen to him, you too will be excited about the conversations that he's having and all the things that he's learning um, and sharing with others about this Pan-African idea and this Pan-African experience. He's a young man that is a force to be reckoned with, no doubt about it. So I'm looking forward to connecting with him, and I'm so excited. Um, there's a few more people I want to connect with, So I and I know that the stars will align, and it's going to be perfect timing, and when it happens, it will be just right. So we're not planning all of these things, we're letting nature take its course, and we're not going to force it, but when it happens, it will be beautiful. But I'm excited because I'm going to be on winter holiday and business um, in the Gambia, on the motherland, doing my thing and doing your thing and helping to build our things so that when the time is right and you're ready to shift and transition, there will be um, space, there will be opportunity. You won't have to worry about being disenfranchised or being displaced. You'll have opportunities awaiting you and hopefully we'll be able to establish some um, criteria based on your needs. So when you get to the motherland, all you have to do is embrace yourself, allow yourself to be healed, take the time that you need for that to happen, explore the continent. You know, Africa has 54 countries. It's uh, beautiful. I've been to about six. You can pick any country and you can just go enjoy yourself and get to know um, your people. Pick a culture, learn the culture, value the culture, respect the culture and the people, and um, have a wonderful time doing it. So the more you know about that culture, the more you grow and the more they grow. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I am counting down. Next week, I will be out of here. So I'm, I'm hoping that Brussels have no issues because they've actually canceled this flight about three times already. And the last time they canceled it, I didn't even receive a notice. I just, something in me told me to go check the flight. And when I went to check the flight, there was no record of the flight. So I called Brussels and of course my phone bill was so high because I didn't use the 800 number. I was super upset and nervous and just trying to figure out what was going on. So I called them, stayed on the phone for a long time, trying to figure that situation out and just opted to um, avoid Brussels while I'm in the U.S. So the best thing for me to do was to take United Airlines all the way to Brussels. And then once to Brussels, I would do Brussels Airline to Banjul. So trying to catch a flight from New York or Newark, um, New Jersey on a Brussels airline, it just was not happening 
this year. So I didn't want to risk um, going to New York or New Jersey and being told that the flight was canceled again. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good about um, United Airlines. I haven't heard anything so far. It hasn't canceled, and I'm hoping that it remains that way. So um, I do have to go do the dreaded COVID test. I've been like working from home since uh, December, January. So I was probably one of the first people that was a telecommuter full time due to COVID. So I think it. I had um, before COVID hit really bad, I was already at home. So I'm accustomed to working from home now. So uh, going out to do this test and they have flu season now so I've been hearing that the cases are on the rise and just trying to avoid the news and all the negativity because the election we had was enough to drive anybody crazy so I am just um, looking forward to um, some R&R some restoration some connections some spiritual connections some um, getting to know my people connection, um, being connected to the source, to the land, to the food, where I can go to the beach, walk barefooted, look out across the ocean, and visualize um, the ancestors. I, I always say that I am the ancestor returning that could not return. So I'm excited to share this journey with you. I'm excited that um, I'm being guided by uh, um, ancestors and a spiritual connectedness to the motherland that I just cannot avoid. You know, when you know that you know and something is pulling you and telling you it is time for you to do something different. So um, if you want to see a change, you must first become the change you want to see. And so if you want something different out of an experience, you have to do something different. You have to put yourself in a position so that you will begin to see the change and the benefits of your willingness to transition. So, you know, you, you'll you have some ups and down times in that and then you perhaps some times of uncertainty but if you stick to the task and to the goal it'll all be clear to you um long as you stay focused and do what you are called to do so that is what is driving me and that is what i am doing and i encourage you to do the same there is a shift and a change in the energy Um, in the atmosphere that's happening today. And so you have to ask yourself, will you be a part of the shift and the change? Are you willing to transition when it's time to transition? Are you ready in yourself and preparing yourself so when the time comes, you will not have a psychological attachment to the change? Are you open to that? Or are you going to just stay um in the in the box in the place that you're in today to try to sustain yourself so um there are options one size does not fit all but i think it's important to know your size and to know what fit what works what doesn't work so that you can make a conscious decision on how to move forward and how to navigate on this place we call earth. So um, the earth and all of its fullness and all of its glory is also met with mischief and wickedness. So you have to learn, you know, how to navigate that and how to um, set yourself up so that you are reaping the very best the earth has to offer you. And so I am looking forward to moving on and enjoying my winter break in Africa, as well as establishing business and taking care of all those things that 
need to happen. So, wow, what an exciting time. I'm a little, oh, let's see, I'm a little anxious and I'm feeling it today for the first time that um, there is right on the edge, a little anxiety perhaps. And I think it may be the uncertainty of the flight as well as the duration of the flight. But at any route next week, I will be on my way. So, um, I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. I have sister locks. I've had them for six years now. And so I'm going to get my retight tomorrow so I won't have to worry about it but this is going to be real interesting I'm readying myself for winter when I get back because it's going to be cold here so I've gotten all sorts of herbs and natural things some grapefruit seed extract for water and parasite and I have black seed oil delivered today and I've just kind of made some natural teas. It had um, turmeric, elderberry, uh, yellow dock root, burdock root, sarsaparilla, as well as uh, I put some clove in it, elderberry, and some turmeric. So I'll be drinking that while I'm traveling. And I, I have some ginger ginger um candies that i'll be going with too so i got this wonderful mask that we have to wear now but i have um activated charcoal mask and i put like essential oils on it so sometimes if i'm stressed or if i'm concerned about the air that i'm breathing i'll put like tea tree oil eucalyptus or uh, uh, peppermint oil or even a lavender, if I just wanted to calm down and relax, I'll drop that on the activated charcoal pad, and that helps me to relax. And so um, if you're protecting your lungs by breathing in ginger or pepper or tea tree oil, it keeps your lungs hot so that bacteria cannot thrive there and in, in, in your nostrils. So it will kill any bacteria um, that may be possibly trying to come up against you. So I've just been drinking a lot of water, um, making a lot of teas, and just uh, resting and relaxing and trying not to drive myself bananas because I would be in the Gambia. It just seems to be a happening place, and everybody is going there now. I can't wait to meet Matthew Hypolite at Hypolink Resort. So I'm looking forward to meeting him. Oh, it's going to be an exciting time. I got some big, big things that I'm doing over there. It's a big, 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 big people that I'm meeting, but I can't reveal it right now. I'll wait because I don't want to be disrespectful. I get ahead of myself at any rate. So I'll wait and ask for permission before I start sharing a lot of stuff. But this is so exciting. I can, I'm looking forward um, to it. I have so many eyeglasses to deliver. I, I've lost count. It may be over 300 right about now. So um, I'm just going to take what I have and allow um, the professionals to do what they do best. But peace, love, and take care of yourself and make sure that you're keeping your organs clean and healthy so that you won't have to bother with this colonial virus or this crazy flu that's coming um, with it. So take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>